Brad Squad. It's your boy, Jonathan Elias, your correspondent for today. Guess what? We're here in New York City celebrating St. Patrick's Day. It's all about the green, as you can see. Today is a cultural and religious celebration held on March 17th. It's also the traditional death date of St. Patrick, the foremost patron saint of Ireland. We're gonna walk around, ask people about their American dream and also what St. Patrick's Day means to them. It's about to be a fun day, let's go. I need some green beer. All right, so what are we doing here today? We are uh, celebrating St. Patrick's Day and we're going to be marching in the parade with County Cavan. Awesome. My grandfather. My oh, grandfather not... came from County Cavan. Awesome. Are you guys excited? Yeah. I'm celebrating St. Patrick's Day because today is the birthday of my granddaughter. My granddaughter is half, half Irish, half Brazilian, oh, and we are, all the family are here oh, and we are very, very happy. We're here celebrating St. Patrick's Day in New York City. Oh, and who do we have here? We have Jinxie, and she's here celebrating too. Oh, is she having fun? She's having fun. We're here to see the thing, to see the parade. And, and, and also parades are cool. I'm marching with the uh, Maloney Memorial Pipe Band from Binghamton, New York. I want to see all of the wonderful people from all over the world that come to New York just to come see the St. Patrick's Parade. So we just want to join in the fun as well. I haven't been here in 34 years, so. We're here with Iona, we're going to march with them, so we graduated in 75. I'm looking forward to seeing like um, some ribbons and yeah. Nice, and you? Uh, today, I'm not going to leave until I see at least a couple Irish step dancers. Ooh, can I see some, some, let me see some of the moves. Let me see some of the Irish step dance, you can't do it? Well, I'm, I've never tried it before. So. Well, try it now, do it, this is your chance. Well, Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> what does St. Patrick's Day mean to you? St. Patrick's Day is family, it's history, it's having fun. Not Irish, but you know I am Catholic and you know St. Patrick is a saint and he went to Ireland to uh, bring Christianity to the people of Ireland and so the three-leaf clover is actually, he showed that to them to express the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Wow. St. Patrick's Day is special to me in that way. Everything it stands for. Yeah, like, kind of like what he says, just having a good time with your family. St. Patrick's Day means uh, something very important for the Irish people. And my son-in-law is Irish. And so my granddaughter is half, half Irish. And we tell her this parade is for her. <laughs> my godparents are Irish, so I have to clearly Show some respect. There you go, there you go. And you, you repping, I see it, I see it. You're all repping. St. Patrick's Day means um, good food, great family get-togethers, um, seeing cousins that you hadn't seen in a while, and um, just like a lot of love and celebration. Awesome, how about for you? Uh, basically the same thing, yeah. Okay, and you? A day to just be with your family and have a great time. Uh, it's a wonderful day that everybody celebrates our heritage. It's out, mingles, has a good time, a lot of fun. Going places with people you know, meeting people you don't, and meeting all the people in New York is amazing. This is Love the most it. amazing place. Amazing, and where can I get one of these? I need one. These, <laughs> this is called a sporan, it's okay. horse hair. Ah. These are mallets for my tenor drum. This is the New York City tartan, actually, and we're the only other ones that have it. Do you come from Irish descent? Uh, well, I come from Long Island, but my parents were from the Bronx, but way back we were from Northern Ireland. Oh, nice! Both my parents, my father was 100% Irish, and my mom was 50%. We are Irish, okay, yes. Okay, nice. I'm from Brazil. So we're not actually Irish, but our parents are, and, and, and technically they're immigrants, just like uh, everyone else here. And so some of us can actually relate to that. I'm a retired teacher from Texas moved to New York to be with my daughter. She moved here two years ago to try to make Broadway. I moved in October to New York. Do you feel like you guys are living the American dream? We are living the American dream because here in America, you dream it, you do it, you work hard, and anything is possible. I love it, woo! <laughs> because of my family coming to America, I am living the American dream. I am living my American dream right now, coming here, meeting new people, I'm having the time of my life. My family moving here like really helped, uh, you know, help me get a job. My grandfather came over for work, and um, 
and my actually my grandmother's father came over for work and they had seven children at home and I remember her saying how jealous she was every time the father came back because they all slept in the mother's bed while he was gone and then they were all kicked out when he came home. Wow. <laughs> With my family moving here, I wouldn't be here at the parade right now. My daughter uh, was a very, very successful girl in Brazil. She has a very good work. She has her apartment, her car, everything, but she has a dream to give something more. The American dream is great, but I have my history, my family, all big family in Brazil. You guys enjoy yourself. Ah, uh, sure. All right, sure. you're going to march. Let me see how you're going to march. Oh, yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Giving us the opportunity to live in this great country. So we're happy campers. You're Irish? Yeah! Okay, so do you feel like, because your parents moved out here, you live in the American dream now? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I'm not Irish, but I just came down fun. So you don't have to be Irish. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Hey, you guys, I found some new friends. You guys got enough interviews, right? Let's go, let's go, come on. <laughs>